I think the competition is going to be super strong. I mean, it always is at Revolutions. Um, and I don't really know how I'm going to do, to be totally honest. I mean, you've got so many of the young girls coming through now, like Emily Kay, for example. She's been at every single World Cup and Europeans, and she's been riding phenomenally. So trying to kind of keep up with them, I guess, is going to be my first issue. Um, and then obviously you've got Ellen Barker, my own teammate. Um, and as much as you're not supposed to work as a team on the track, like that's kind of what Revolution is all about, getting as many kind of points as you can for the team. So it'd be nice to kind of see how she does and whether I can do sort of like a, a helping role maybe for her. Racing is what I enjoy most, kind of getting out there and getting stuck in. So I just said to Paul, my coach, like, I'm just going to do it and see what happens. So yeah, that's why I've decided to do it. I think I was 15 for my first Revolution um, and stepping into the velodrome and just seeing so many people watching and it just being like such a good atmosphere. I think Revolution's really helped British cycling um, on the women's side of things. I mean, for me, it was never, I never did a race growing up that was televised. Um, and obviously it's televised here. You've got the young um, girls racing and everybody can see them and can see how great they are. And I think that can only help. Because I think the thing is, if it's not shown, if people can't access it and don't know about track cycling or just cycling in general, it's difficult to say, oh, I want to go and do that. So if it's broadcasted a lot more like it is now, um, like the younger generation are seeing it and they want to do it. They want to get kind of stuck in and be a part of it.